Okay, it's time to welcome Deborah Tavares back on the program. She is uh, doing the work of 20 or 30 people out there trying to sound the alarm about the takeover that is uh, certainly just about complete, if it isn't complete already, depending on who you talk to or how you look at it. Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars, first made popular in William Cooper's book, Behold a Pale Horse, supposedly a document found in a government surplus photocopy machine, has certainly fit the bill in terms of describing precisely what's been going on for the last 15, 20 years and continues to accelerate every day. It's not slowing down. We also hope to talk to her about the NASA war document. We might not get there tonight, but we'll get there someday. And first off, she will tell us about the latest from Bilderberg West, otherwise known as the Bohemian Grove. And if you look under Deborah's name and guests, you'll see her story today. She sent to me with photographs above and on the ground. And when you look up, it's quite clear that uh, somebody is spraying something on the Bilderberg West meeting at the Bohemian Grove. Heavy spraying. Big hatchwork across the sky. Deborah, welcome back to the program. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. Yes, um, we were um, there in front of the gates of Bohemian Grove on Saturday, July the 13th, uh, 2013, the night that they had the infamous creation, cremation of care. Oh, yeah. And um, so what they'll they, see They can't when get they enough go, of that, can they? They, they <laughs> cannot. It's terrific. And yeah. I can only say to you that I have a, a full report of that event on our website um, under Breaking News, uh, Bohemian Grove. Mm -hmm. So people can go and listen to that. We had a myriad of signage out front of the gates. Yeah, well done, uh, by the way, well done. Well, thank you so much. And we also filmed uh, the uh, Bohemian Grove uh, police, if you will, hiding in the trees. And uh, they can see that in that uh, YouTube piece as Mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. This year's Bohemian Grove uh, was very different in the sense that the main access road had barricades every 10 feet, which really disallowed people uh, to park at a convenient location and walk over to the main entrance. And And it turns out that the day that we were there on the 13th, uh, this last Sunday on the 20th, they even cordoned off the location where you will see our vehicle parked and we have huge banner hangs. Everybody listening got to get involved. We are in an absolute avalanche of assault. And whatever issue fits you, you've got to get it on your vehicles. You've got to get brochures. You've got to start passing this out. We are in an absolute warp speed takedown. And I can only say, go to our website, uh, look, listen to the half-hour YouTube, and watch the police that were hiding in the trees and you'll see the uh, 2013 Bohemian Grove report. But, Jeff, what I really want to start out by saying is that everyone's got to realize that uh, October 21st of 1945, uh, the U.S. became a charter member of the United Nations, and we relinquished our sovereignty in order to become a charter member. And we no longer have any sovereign. We're not sovereign. Right. And it's, our republic has been lost. And we're no longer under law. Uh, We are in a matrix under false pretenses, and we have been lied to and deceived. This is what this entire NSA facility is in Bluffdale, uh, Utah, where uh, I went uh, on uh, July the 3rd and the 4th to go there and bring awareness to that massive 1 million square foot facility in Bluffdale, Utah. And I can tell you that we will have on our site as soon as we um, get it up there, we will have the last footage of a private vehicle driving up the Redwood Road up to the turnaround. What we were able to film before security launched on us and threatened us with fines and detained us for quite some time uh, was... Were these more rent-a-thugs? Were they well, basically uh, just trying to, to belittle you? Were they threatening? What, what was their... Or are they just they trying were, to be pretend like they're being uh, properly professional? No, they were absolutely threatening. Uh, we drove up from the main road to a turnaround area, and um, there were only two signs that said, you you know, you sh- cannot bring guns, uh, animals, uh-huh. unless it's seeing eye, uh-huh. dog. Uh, they said that um, you needed authorization. 
so we went up there to ask for authorization and a tour of the facility and explain that we were out of state, that I had heard about the facility, and we wanted to speak to somebody that could give us a tour. He laughed at us and said, there are no tours here. We said, well, certainly with a million square feet, you have somebody that can talk to us about what this facility is. He said, we're uh, here illegally. Uh, We want your uh, IDs immediately. And, of course, the driver of our rental car uh, did give the uh, his license, but... uh, when he asked for mine, I said I wasn't driving. He didn't push the license. But we were detained for about 20 minutes under threat. He walked around the vehicle writing. It looked like he was going to write a ticket. He was talking to somebody, and it was extremely worrisome because we we were uh, being absolutely intimidated, Jeff. And when we finally left, um, it, after we were able to get some pictures, some photographs of the bronze medallion up there, that you can only see if you're in the spot where we were, um, and we'll be posting that. But as we were leaving, they were in the process of building gates and uh, fencing at the base of the hill. Yeah, yeah. So at two this billion point, dollar, two billion U.S. tax dollars at work. Yeah. Yeah. So at this point, um, you know, we we left, and the following day we did have a rally. It was a peaceful assembly to bring awareness to the NSA facility. Uh, And I can only tell you that we marched uh, uh, down the main road. There were literally dozens and dozens of police present, uh, as well as military Mm -hmm. uh, personnel. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was quite uh, quite a photographed moment, for sure. What is so important is what we were warned about in the silent weapons document. And this speaks to exactly what Snowden is doing right now. And this is on page 7. Of, uh, well, let's see. No, uh, this is on page 11 of the silent weapons document, and this is very, very important for everybody to hear um, because um, it says, since energy is the key to all activity on the face of the earth, it follows that in order to attain a monopoly of energy, which is raw materials, goods, services, and to establish a world system of slave labor, it is essential to have the first strike capability in the field of economics. In order to maintain our position, it is necessary that we have absolute first knowledge of the science of control over all economic factors and the first experience at engineering the world economy. In order to achieve such sovereignty, this is the elite's sovereignty, we must at least achieve this one end, that the public will not make either the logical or mathematical connection between economics and other energy sciences or learn to apply such knowledge. This is, be- this is becoming increasingly difficult to control because more and more businesses are making demands upon their computer programmers to create and apply mathematical models for the management of their businesses. Right. It is only a matter of time before the new breed of private programmers and economists will catch on to the far-reaching implications of the work begun at Harvard in 1948. The speed with which they can communicate this warning to the public will largely depend upon how effective we have been at controlling the media, subverting education, and keeping the public distracted (laughs) with matters of no real importance. Right. This is absolutely key, and we are absolutely being attacked by a silent weapons system right mm-hmm. now, and everybody oh, listening yeah. must, must go to StopTheCrime.net to the source documents and read the silent weapons document, because now we're going to also be talking about the NASA war document here in a bit. Good. I wanted to set that up by saying, uh, in the silent weapons document on page 8, it says, a silent system is applied gradually. The public adjusts and adapts to its presence and learns to tolerate its encroachment on their lives until the pressure, psychological via economic, becomes too great and they crack up. That's the boiling frog principle. Yes. They say the silent weapon system is a type of biological warfare. It attacks the vitality, options, and mobility of the individuals of society by knowing, understanding, manipulating, and attacking their sources of natural and social energy and their physical, mental, and emotional strengths and weaknesses. And that is what is happening right now. 
And what our, what our biggest concern at this moment, while they're distracting us with many, many things, is the ultimate, uh, which the elites are striving for, and that's global mind control. Uh, I want to also talk a little bit more about the NSA facility that we visited um, on July the 4th, and I want to talk about a little uh, about quantum computing. And it is the next phase of data analysis, and after each and every human being on the planet has been successfully profiled and cataloged in the NSA global data bank, it's simply a practice known as biosociology or the molding of the, by the global elite. Mm -hmm. It is what the global elites have been striving for, and in the silent weapons document, it will tell you if they were planning uh, the who, where, why, when, and what of each person and massive data collection. The new revelations now of the IRS is not new news. All of our Congress is inept. They've been taken. We are a we are being run by globalist international banks and mega corporations posing as a government, and it is not. We have been taken, and people need to understand we have lawless laws at this point. When you read the silent weapons document, you will find that they put in position in all places necessary to advance their agenda. And when you look at the Iron Mountain Report, which is also on our website, you need to understand we're under a United Nations planned occupation of America, and that plan is to process our families domestically, and we are being conquered right now. And even in the Iron Mountain document, it talks about how they are going to circumvent the Constitution, and they have. So everyone needs to at least get to those documents immediately, get caught up. We have been lied, misinformed, and we have been absolutely put in a fear-based reality. That is how this illusion has, has gone to the extent that it has. The globalists operate on two facts, to create fear that is equal to loss of life and loss of lifestyle, and to massively create and cause disinformation. And when we look at uh, what has happened at the NSA facility, one of the main concerns with this NSA facility, besides gathering data on every single one of us, mm -hmm. which is also under the United Nations Agenda 21 or Future Earth Protocol, it's a global inventory, and that's what they're doing right now. They're inventorying our food supplies. They're sending insurance companies out to our properties uh, with GPS devices to uh, locate. Yes, they are to locate fruit trees. Uh, the under the uh, USDA. So uh, the most important thing is we cannot concede, we cannot permit, and we cannot comply to this massive data collection. We've got to stay out of it as much as possible. But one of the most disturbing aspects of the quantum computers uh, with the NS NSA facility is that uh, it, can, uh, it can interfere with encrypted codes, and all encrypted codes will become obsolete. They say the encrypted the quantum computers are specifically designed to crack even the most sophisticated encrypted codes on the planet. And this means that if the NSA cartel criminals desire it, they can steal everything, uh, not only all of the nuclear launch codes, but our medical records, our tax records, bank accounts. We have cameras on every single street corner, on our roads, on buildings. They are everywhere. And this is what the smart uh, meter, the global smart grid, is all about, this massive data collecting. And we must uh, remove these smart meters off our properties. We cannot allow our utility companies to do this to us. These are biohazards. We are being attacked. And the weapon of choice is a silent weapon. This is a quiet war system, and they're using frequencies and data mining. And this is for ultimate mind control. Bohemian Grove, heavy spraying, big hatchwork across the sky. Deborah, welcome back to the program. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. Yes, um, we were um, there in front of the gates of Bohemian Grove on Saturday, July the 13th, uh, 2013, the night that they had the infamous creation, cremation of care. Oh, yeah. And, um, 
So what they'll they, see they can't when they get go, enough of that, can they? <laughs> they they cannot. It's terrific, and yeah. I can only say to you. Okay, it's time to welcome Deborah Tavares back on the program. She is going down. We also hope to talk to her about the NASA war document. We might not get there tonight, but we'll get there someday. And first off, she will tell us about the latest from Bilderberg West, otherwise known as the Bohemian Grove. And if you look under Deborah's name and guests, you'll see her story today she sent to me with photographs above and on the ground. And when you look up, it's quite clear that uh, somebody is spraying something on the Bilderberg West meeting at the board. Uh, doing the work of 20 or 30 people out there trying to sound the alarm about the takeover that is uh, certainly just about complete, if it isn't complete already, depending on who you talk to or how you look at it. Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars, first made popular in William Cooper's book, Behold a Pale Horse, supposedly a document found in a government surplus photocopy machine, has certainly fit the bill in terms of describing precisely what's been going on for the last 15, 20 years and continues to accelerate every day. It's not slow. That I have a, a full report of that event on our website um, under Breaking News, uh, Bohemian Grove. Mm -hmm. So people can go and listen to that. We had a myriad of signage out front of the gates. Yeah, and, well done, uh, by the way, well done. Well, thank you so much. And we also filmed uh, the uh, Bohemian Grove uh, police, if you will, hiding in the trees. And uh, they can see that in that uh, YouTube piece as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This year's Bohemian...